Welcome back, everyone. It's FNUS57 here. I'm back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One, and today we will be going over what is new in the Protector's Jubilee for 2018. So this is some of the stuff that you must do. Uh, I will only be covering the changes since everything else has remained the same from last year. So there is a new throne. You can see it behind my character right there. Looks pretty cool, has a holographic floating V for the 5th year anniversary. And if you want to take a look at the event, you can go ahead and look there, Protector's Jubilee. So, everything has remained the same, you can reference my last year's videos for farming the event, but there are a couple of new things, a couple of very important things, and it was brought to my attention that some people may need a guide on it. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to come to Elminster, and you're going to see a whole slew of quests. These are the same quests. All right, nothing here has changed. Those are default, same as last year, same as the year before. With the exception of the It's a Celebration quest. This quest you must pick up and complete once per day on one character. Once it has been completed one time... It cannot be completed on another character. So remember to do it on the character that you want the stuff on. What this is going to give you is it's going to give you anniversary coins. Those coins can be exchanged immediately or held on to for uh, the end of the event, if you would like. You can get a total of five of them, and you're going to get a bunch of really cool rewards. So basically, you pick up the quest, and then you'll have to go to a random NPC... Talk to them real quick, and then you'll have to go back and turn in the quest there at Elminster. So the first day I had to go up to uh, the person just north of Knox. The second day I had to go to Harper Bard. And today, the third day, I had to go over there to the Artifact Quest NPC. So not a hard quest, super easy to do. can be done as soon as you reach Protector's Enclave, whether you're level 4 or level 70, doesn't really matter. Come back here, and you go ahead and turn it in. You get your anniversary coin. Now, everything's remained the same. The commemorative store, this is where you spend your figurines. It's uh, pretty much junk in the figurine store, with the exception of these crates. So, first year crate, second year crate, third year crate, fourth year crate, fifth year crate and then at the very end of the event if you've turned in these coins whether you turn them in as soon as you earn them or at the end of the event doesn't matter but then you can get the thank you crate now there's a lot of cool stuff i'll leave a link in the description to the post on the actual neverwinter site um, all the thrones are the same as last year with the exception of the throne of celebration so really that's the only thing that changed with the actual quest line now you'll see that I am keeping the coins in my inventory simply so I can show all of the rewards there at the end of the event all at once. There's one more thing that you need to be aware of and that is your free rank 14 enchantment. Now remember this may be in a different place for you. For me it is under featured or the refinement category but it could also be under the free category or it could be under the keys category. I don't know why that's the case it just is. So, you can claim once per account your anniversary rank 14 enchantment pack, costs zero zen. You can also claim in the zen market, under the same category of refinement, one of the new refiners packs. Remember, this is one per account. Go ahead and claim that. Let's see what we got. So from the refiner's pack, we got a bound to account set of blood rubies, a brilliant diamond, a savage rank 9, and a superior enchanting stone. Uh, there is a new enchantment coming from that pack that's like a crit recovery enchantment. So it is pretty cool. I got a lot of refinement here. I just wish it was sellable. Now, the anniversary rank 14 enchantment choice pack. Go ahead and open that. And you'll have your choice of a pretty cool looking either rank 14 dark silvery azure or radiant pick whichever one is most beneficial to your account at this point in the game 
I would probably recommend Radiant as they're wanted for Paladins, ACDCs, and pretty much for any DPS class in the defensive slots if you're running with a Paladin who's using Aura of Courage currently the way that it works in Mod 13. Otherwise, it's completely up to you. So I'm going to claim the rank 14 for my Paladin. I think they look badass as hell with that V stamped on the enchantment. I wish they all looked that way. So this is a free rank 14 bound to account. You cannot do anything else with it. I would mark it as protected because the discard option is there and you don't want to discard it. So I'm going to mark that as protected. But this is not something that you can convert into refinement points. You cannot sell it, trade it, or anything like that. You can go ahead and put it in your shared bank, transfer it to another character, equip it, unequip it. Anything of that nature works perfectly fine. You just can't actually sell it or trade it. So we'll just put that in the bank and hold on to it. Go ahead and put it on my paladin. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask. I do have videos, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, on how to farm the Protector's Bounty Boxes and how to farm the Protector's Speech Skirmish. But if you have a question still, feel free to leave a message. I'll do my best to get back to you in a hurry. Otherwise, make sure that you share the video and leave a like on it because it greatly helps out the searchability of videos here on YouTube. Until next time, stay frosty.